A lot of questions about postbacks I'm getting lately. So uh, this question was submitted by a student who asked, should I do a postback program or should I just apply to DO schools? And what I'm assuming is that this person thinks that they are qualified to go to DO schools, which if you guys don't know this, DO schools have a slightly, not by a lot, a slightly lower bar when it comes to admissions than MD programs. And so they tend to be a little bit, barely, a little bit easier to get into. And so some people are like, man, I'm not qualified for MD, but I can get into DO school, or should I do a post -back program and try to get into an MD school? And what I'll say, and this can go either way, you guys have to make your own decisions, but what I would say is I would just go DO, truthfully. Because, I mean, <laughs> if you ask me this question, which a student did, should I do a post -back or a Caribbean school, and you guys check out that video, I said I would do the post -backs of the Caribbean. When it comes to post -back versus DO, people try to disrespect the DO process, but DOs are legitimate doctors who get legitimate residency consideration. And yes, you the standard is a little bit higher in terms of you have to perform a little bit better as a DO student because people are going to be looking at you like, oh, are you a DO? And are you inferior because you went to a DO school? And so to make sure that you're not, there's no uncertainty, you want to make sure that you do well on your step exams and also on your coursework. But going the DO route is a perfectly viable route and it does make you a real doctor. So anyone who tries to shame you for saying, oh, going to a DO, that's not real medicine. It is. It's real U.S. medicine, so there's no shame in doing that. Um, so I would actually say instead of spending more time and more money to prepare yourself to get into a medical school program that's essentially going to be the same as something you can already get into, I would just go to DO. Cut your losses, save that time, save that money, and use that, use all that to get through medical school and get through it strong so that way you can secure your residency. All right, thank you guys so much. And I have lots of videos on this on post -backs, masters, uh, PhDs, um, making decisions like this in, in terms of where your real road goes. So check out the rest of my YouTube channel um, and make sure you guys subscribe, turn on my notifications so you can get the newest videos when they come out from me. Um, and check in the box below, I'll link up some of the videos I'm talking about um, in terms of other things you may be thinking about right now as you wind up your uh, undergrad career and you're trying to make decisions about what's the next step for you. Thank you guys very much, I'm out of here. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being in pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med put to the experts show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.